ignore it, but I can't ignore it. You no can't much. ignore it. Every step you take, it's it's it hurts. it's talking to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jason here, hi Jason. Yeah. Okay, so he came in. This is really painful, huh? Yeah. This is a wart. You can see a little, maybe a little difficult to see here, but there's, there's some black dots around it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it could be like a cow uh, just uh, uh, giving you pain, but this definitely looks like a, a wart here. So we do treat it a little bit differently here than some other doctors. I know they surgically remove it or scoop it out which is fine too but it's very painful and you have to stay off work because okay. it bleeds a lot but what, what we do here is i'm going to do a little laser on it to kill some of the virus and then I'm, we're going to clean this out and then we're going to put some very strong medicine okay. which is very effective it causes a little blister okay. and then it uh, gets the area better it okay. may require a few treatments so uh, we're going to follow the series and show you exactly how this is going to heal next uh, few weeks okay? okay so i'm going to do some laser first okay uh, in fact, I'm going to clean it out a little bit first so that the laser can penetrate and kill the virus in this area. Um, anything that grows in your body, virus, uh, fungus, or any other bacteria, or even cancer cells, uh, don't like heat. So that's what we're doing. We're going to heat this area and then hopefully some of the virus will die. And then we're going to put very strong acid here, which is very effective to uh, get rid of this problem as well. So I'm just cleaning out the callus around it. Uh, it can be bleeding here soon because wards are very bloody. So we're just cleaning it out right now so the laser can penetrate into this area. You feel okay, Jason? Yeah, I'm okay. So how long have you had this now? Two months now. Oh, two months. You've been limping though, huh? Yes. Pretty painful. Very painful. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna ignore it, but I can't ignore it. You no can't much. ignore it. Every step you take, it's it's it hurts. it's talking to you, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of work do you do? Are you standing all day? Yes, I work in a chemical. I work in lab technician. Oh, I see. So you're standing all day, huh? In a hard surface, right? Yeah. Like a yeah. Like a concrete floor, right? Mm -hmm. They don't have any soft mats for you or anything. Uh, some of my. Not, not all. Mhm. Mm you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. okay. So I'm just cleaning it out real good. This is a pretty big size here. Uh, it doesn't look that big from the outside, but it's got a deep root and it's inside. very deep inside. Yeah. And then it starts forming like a callus because it's painful, and then that makes it even more painful. So a lot of callus that came off. I'm gonna use a laser machine over here so it's gonna get a little bit hot okay. okay you just let me know when it gets too hot okay so we have this laser machine so it's not gonna get hot yet but it's gonna hot get hot pretty soon you feel that yeah. not yet yeah, it needs to, just let me know when it gets too hot, okay? okay. Heat is very effective to kill anything that grows in your body. Okay. So we're gonna heat it up to um, uh, make the environment a little um, difficult for the virus to continue uh, growing, okay? And then we're gonna put some acid on there and gonna put some duct tape. Um, also, your immune system needs to improve, so I'm going to recommend uh, high dose vitamin A, about 10,000 uh, international uh, unit, and then 15 grams of zinc, okay. which really helps with your immune system to kill this virus as well. So I'm going to recommend uh, you go to the pharmacy and pick up those things as well. Okay. Okay. okay very good. You getting hot yet? Uh, a little bit. Just okay. Mm -hmm. So what kind of chemical stuff do you guys make? Some dangerous stuff? Yes, uh, we work with chloroform and all those. 
What is it? Chloroform. And all acetone and all those. Oh, really? Yes. The toxic stuff, huh? Yes. Oh, so you have to wear like a um, uh, suit? Yeah, suit and all that. Hazmat suit? Yes. Oh, like a nuclear weapon. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost look like that, huh? Yes. We have to be really careful, huh? Mm. Getting hot? Yeah, I'm getting hot. Really hot? No, that's fine. Okay, let me know when it gets too hot, okay? Okay. Hot? No, it's fine. Okay. So I'm looking at how many energy I'm putting in. We're at about almost 400. I'm going to stop when, when I reach about 500 joules. So we're almost getting there. I know it's getting hot, but... I don't want to hurt Jason too much. He has to go to work, right? You working today? No, I'm not working today. Oh, just I'm tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. To work tomorrow. So tomorrow, if he has to work, he needs to take off a couple of days, but if he has to work, he'll be thinking about me all day tomorrow. <laughs> and so we're reaching almost 500 joules here. We're almost there. There, so that's 500 joules. Let me put this back. So now, we're going to put this very strong acid, it's a concoction of three different acids, very strong, so I, I don't want to put too much on there because it could be very painful for him. So I'm just putting the medicine right here, right in the center, in a couple other places. There you go, that's all he needs. And then I put my magical duct tape. Today's color is yellow. I have all different colors, uh -huh. and then I suffocate, literally. Everything that grows in your body uh -huh. requires oxygen, so when I suffocate it, the virus dies, okay? So I know people laugh about the duct tape, but this is medically proven. It's in the medical journals okay. that it works better than anything else out there, so the duct tape is put on, and then I put some pad around it to take pressure off because he'll be working tomorrow. So I want you to keep this dry tonight. Okay. Don't get it wet. Uh -huh. If it comes up tomorrow after you take a shower, you put new duct tape on, okay? okay. Do you have some duct tape at home? Uh, I can get some. Yeah, you can get some? Okay. So I'm going to put two of these because he has to work tomorrow. So exactly how I put it, you're going to put him on. I'm going to give you some extra. Okay. 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 And I'm going to see him in two weeks and I'm going to show you the follow-up, how it looks next time. And hopefully the whole thing will fall off. If not, we have to do it again and then the whole thing will fall off and then we're done. Okay. And then this, this is a very good way to take care of this without getting him off work or um, you know a lot of gruesome like surgical excision of this work which can be done too but okay. it's quite uh, gruesome okay? okay so we'll see you in a couple of weeks okay thank, thank you, you. No. okay thank you